Good morning, modern steaders. Welcome to our homestead. We got power back last night. Yes! You excited about that? Look at your braces. They look so cool. Love them. Look at all the snow. On the trees. On the trees. And that's why we've been losing power the last couple of days. Them tree branches weigh so much. I see the bus. So do I. Have a good day. Okay. Love you. Love you. Little birds are out flying around this morning. <laughs> good morning, guys and girls. Ready for some feed, Andy? How do you like being in a chicken coop and not free ranging, huh? So most of these chickens have been free ranging all summer. Once the snow came, I put them into our winter chicken coop, the greenhouse. And now they're cooped up, but they're doing good. I wanted to welcome all the new subscribers. We're right around the 50,000 subscriber mark. So I wanted to thank all the new and all the old viewers. That's just an awesome feeling. It's crazy to think that we have 50,000 people following our journey. What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? I took the camera out. Now you're not going to play in the water. Crazy ducks. You know you want to. You know it. The goat's insulated waterer, it's finally done. All dried up, boom. The goats are gonna have their own personal Yeti. Building the goat's insulated waterer, or Yeti, whatever you'd like to call it, gave me some inspiration to build one for the chickens. It's a different idea than that, because goats and chickens, drink a little differently and I think this will work really well so later on today we gotta go pick up the supplies I'm sure glad we got this sled getting our use this winter Figaro what are you doing I didn't even see you there Figaro you're crazy it took me a second to see him ah, the protector of the homestead Let's see how this goes. <sighs> Figaro is down here. Checking on the goats. Right there, that's funny. He keeps an eye on all of his homestead critters. Good morning, girls. <coughs> what are you doing? Watch out. Oh. <laughs> I'm all excited about the new water and they could care less. They're just like, give us our hay. There you go. I'll have to keep an eye on the temperatures and the water and see how good it keeps the water from freezing. Right now it's 30 degrees out. So I can't see this freezing today, but we'll keep an eye on it. I'm sure when it's 20 below zero, it's still gonna freeze in there. But my goal is when it's that cold, not to have it not freeze all day long, but to have it so it stays de-thawed longer. And we should be able to get extra hours out of the insulated waterer versus not. If you'd like to see how we built the insulated waterer, I'll put a link to that video right here. You ready to come out now? We're all done milking. You ate all your chaff, hey. Go for it.
Gina and Olivia ordered Pluto a sweater. It came in last night and Olivia couldn't wait to put it on this morning. Gonna have to clean the roof of New York City off again. I just checked the weather forecast. We're not supposed to be getting any major accumulating snow, at least for the next five days, so we can take the plow off. You can barely tell you have the plow on the truck when you're driving, but I'd rather take it off and not have the extra weight on the front of the truck if it's not needed for a few days. Gotta unlock it. Boom. Do the same thing on this side. Sometimes, yeah. The pin must be too tight on this side. There must be some paint still in there. Go get a hammer. Guess I haven't worn off all the paint on this side yet. There we go. I was getting ready to get in the truck and I noticed that. This is one of our monster compost piles. What's awesome about this is it showing me, even though it's already been negative three out for a few nights, and we've gotten a, probably two feet of snow, it's melting and that pile is nice and hot. You can actually see some green life right there still growing. It's the heat of the compost pile that's keeping that alive. And then this other compost pile is generating heat also. Not as much. That pile has been composted for a little over a year. Seeing it sit under a blanket of snow like that tells me, whoa, that you know what? It's all done composting. It's ready to use next spring. like a winter wonderland. Everything looks so different covered in snow. I get to go to two of my favorite stores today. <laughs> Just here the other day getting some. I need four more cans. That was a quick and easy in and out. Off to the next location. Luckily, both these stores are right down the street from each other. It doesn't look like there's many people here. Just the way I like to do my shopping. Hmm. Here we go. Thank you. All right, one, one more thing off the list.
Now we can head back to the homestead. We got everything we needed out in town. I was able to get everything we needed out in town. I got some junk tires. This is for our water project. Got some sand from the town. Most towns, at least up here, the town you live in, you can go and get sand that's already been pre-mixed with salt. We'll use this on our driveway this winter in our stairways. I'm going to keep the tires in front of the wood stove to melt and dry off. Then we can start working on building our insulated waterers for the chickens. That's just a funky word to say, waterers. I don't know if it's my New England accent, but man, that word gets me all the time. Say it, waterers, 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 waterers. <sighs> don't laugh at me. All right, you guys seeing it? We'll make it like this, fill it, and it'll work perfectly. This is going to be awesome. It'll be have to let these tires dry and warm up. That might be tomorrow's project. I don't think it'll be tomorrow because we gotta go bring Willow to get bread. And then we got some more stuff we gotta do with Gina and Olivia coming up. So this will be a project soon. I'm excited to get this one going now too. That goat waterer gave me some inspiration. The heavy wet snowstorm we got the other day damaged some tree branches. I wanna go take care of them before they keep scratching the tundra. That would not be good. I think the Kubota likes having a home inside. All right, I'm gonna haul off this brush and then we'll be back. Ah, there, we don't have to worry about any low branches now. There's always plenty to do on the homestead in the winter. It's just different in a northern climate than it is in the summer and springtime. A whole new list of items to get done. I bet these chickens will like some fresh bedding. I'll let the chickens spread it. They'll do a better job than we can do anyways. I've never used wood shavings in the nesting box before. Figured we'd try it this time and see how they end up liking it. They don't know what to think of the wood shavings yet. What do you think, Andy? That's kind of disappointing. I thought the chickens would be all over those wood shavings and spreading them. You just never know. Fix your sweater. 
You silly dog. Let's go check on the goats. We'll give them some hay and I want to see how warm their water is in their new water. It's slippery, so walk in the deeper snow if you can. See? Yeah. Slippery! Trees <laughs> on. There we go. It's like spring loaded. You want to go put that in the feeder, Livies? Yeah. Run! Before the goats get you. Hey, off me. Did they get you? Or just the hay got you? Just the hay. <laughs> Look, they're all happy now. Yay. I'm going to say the goats like the new water because the water's empty. And it's... Oh, maybe an inch of water in there, and it's 36 degrees. Cool beans. I'll have to go get some more and bring it out for him. And that's been out for eight hours almost, so that's pretty good. I'm I'm happy with that. You playing? Yeah. yeah. I'm not trying to swing on them. I am, but I'm not. They're crazy. You're happy. The goats are happy. Everybody's happy. Is it deep? Yeah. We're coming to get your eggs. Um, how many eggs do you think today? Zero. I'm going to say four. I say zero. You say zero, I say four. I say four. I see five dirty eggs. Dirty, dirty. He's loud. He is loud, isn't he? Okay, hold the basket. Good night, chickens. So I'm also putting warm water in for the goats. We'll check the temperature. The temp of the water is 97, 98. We'll check it to see what it is in here because there was cold water still in here before I poured this in. Is still says 98, even though the other water was 36 degrees. That's kind of crazy, huh? We never know where you're gonna be, Mr. Figaro, do we? Don't tell Gina I took the good meat thermometer up to the goat barn either. Shh. Ready? We're gonna find Figaro hiding. Ah! You trying to attack us, mister? You're a crazy cat. Oh my goodness. You were trying to scare me, weren't you? Yep, I see, I knew it. Oh, mister, mister. All right, let's see how this pork roast is. Ooh. Check the temp. Put it back in for a little bit longer. Oh! 
Oh, I forgot to turn the camera when we were eating dinner. Sorry about that. The pork roast was really good. Didn't know how it was gonna be. I had it cooking last night in the crock pot, then we lost power, and I didn't have the sides cooking yet. So we just put it out in the snowbank in a container, guys, come on. And then we went to Gina's parents' house for dinner. So we had it tonight left over. It was delicious. <sighs> gonna lock up the goats now. I'm gonna go feed the goats, but I wanna leave you with this. Go after what you want. Go get it. If you wanna get into homesteading, but you're not there yet, you're in an apartment, don't let that stop you. Do something. Plant something. Read a book. Get a book. Read a book. Find something to do. Get some worms. There's so many places you can start. It's winter here for us. There's a lot of things I can't do, but there's a lot of different things I can do. So I can't let that hold us back. You can't either. Look, your barn's all lit up. Nope, oh, through the door they go. How's your water doing? We gotta check on that, I almost forgot. It's still warm. Cool beans, I should have brought the thermometer out. But we used it for dinner time. Good night, girls. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow. Bye.